Welcome everybody to Mohawk Territory. It is indeed a pleasure to have such a gathering here in the heart of our homeland and to have you all come as guests and participate in this wonderful event. Many of you have come from far distances across the province and from other provinces to participate in this. It is a it is a tribute to our people and to ourselves. It is a reminder to ourselves and to Canadians about our existence, our real existence and our real um, role that we play in this country. This is a national event. It's not just a a um, a regional event or a provincial event, it is something that sends a message right across the country. And our understanding is there are many other indigenous nations across Canada are, are, are participating in such events too. This, from now until the election, should be the battle cry or the war cry of our people. Uh, we are anticipating that there will be continuous demonstrations right across Canada on an individual basis to make sure that we remind Canadians that we do exist and that we do count. We're part of the fabric of this nation, that we were the first people here. We are the elder brothers, they are the younger younger brothers because of the time that we've spent here prior to their arrival. And um, they have become the dominant ones, they have become the aggressors, and we, in turn, must show that we are very much alive and well, despite being outnumbered, outpopulated, outgunned, if you will. Uh, but yet, this is our territories, these are our lands, and we will continue to make sure that that, that is understood very clearly. So again, thank you very much. This message, this message we send to all Canadians, all those who consider themselves Canadians, those who have been here for generations, and others who have just arrived, and those that potentially will be coming forth, we have to continuously remind them all about our existence and that we are the most important factor of this country. Thank you. If this tree is implemented between us, then I would be forced as an ally to help defend you. If you're in the West, whether you're in the North Shore of, uh, of Quebec, we will take action. You heard the Inu, you heard the Mohawk. You heard the Mohawk, you heard the Cree, and so on. So that's one of my big hopes, that if they won't do anything, fine. I'm not going to wait for them. I'm taking the initiative, and I'm bringing as many First Nations together in a formal treaty. And later on, we'll expand the treaty to include social, and we'll include uh, economic economic ties across, the, across, this, uh, across this country. So I hope everyone's going to start thinking in those terms. Don't count too much on these candidates. Don't count on them changing anything. We're making you beautiful promises right now. So we're just telling them we're not forgetting. We're here and we're not going to forget what you promised us a long time ago. And we're going to hold you to that. And if you don't, well, that's fine. We're making preparations for other, uh, for, for other events. So we're not going to lay down. We're not going away. So deal with us or deal with the potential uh, backlashes that you might get in the future. Because we're sick and tired of getting ignored, we're sick and tired of being stomped down, and we're sick and tired of being pushed around. Well, I hope they're going to realize that, and uh, if they make promises, you better damn well hold on to them. Now I'll go. Aujourd'hui, on est rendu à un tournant. Il faut se faire entendre. Il faut être là. Il faut être présent. C'est des actions comme aujourd'hui qui vont faire en sorte que notre, euh, notre réalité, nos besoins, nos traités soient respectés. Encore dernièrement, là, euh, vous, allez, vous avez vu là, dans le fleuve, là, Montréal a décidé de, excusez-moi, de chier dans, dans le fleuve directement, sans même nous consulter les Premières Nations. Ils ont, ça ça leur est même pas venu à l'idée que ça allait avoir des impacts sur notre mode de vie traditionnel. Le lac Saint-Pierre, c'est un territoire bien acquis. On pêche, on chasse, là. Puis aujourd'hui, on va avoir des dépôts de sédiments, là. On va avoir des condoms qui vont être utiles là-dedans. Puis on n'a pas été écouté. Il a fallu encore une fois qu'on envoie une lettre au gouvernement dire « Hey, on existe ». Ça, en 2015, c'est inacceptable. Donc, je vous encourage à aller voter.
cause du euh, fleuve Saint-Laurent, on va, va faire qu'on crée des groupes dans chaque ville du coin de quoi. On a, euh, vous pouvez nous contacter sur Facebook si vous êtes intéressé. Ça s'appelle The Protectors of the St. Lawrence River. We're here to protect our river. Nobody wants 8 million liters of untreated, untreated nothing shit dumped into our river. Euh, je voulais juste prendre un instant et éclaircir quelque chose. Le maire Coderre avait l'intention de faire ça depuis deux ans. Depuis deux ans. Il y avait deux ans planifié le tout. À place de prendre euh, notre argent et de l'investir dans l'infrastructure essentielle pour assurer qu'on n'arrive pas à ce point-là, on a choisi de mettre 11 millions vers des terrains de baseball absolument inutiles. Et je cite le maire qui a dit les Montréalais ils ont un baseball dans le sang. Un autre 41 millions pour un parc aquatique, euh, honnêtement, on s'en tape. Il y a du grand monde qui sont allés au glissade d'eau cet été, dans le foule, en tout cas. Et ça, je me disais, c'est le CFT, ça coûte cher. Oui, c'est une manif, euh, Nautique. Ah non, t'es sûr, oui. pas d'accord? Oh, ouais, mais c'est le plaisir. Garde un peu de poisson, mais pas beaucoup, c'est juste, euh, euh, j'adore le doré. Mon père aussi, comme ça, m'a attrapé. Puis, euh, mais la, la chicane, toutes les autres espèces, j'ai relâche tout le temps. Ok. Puis, euh, je garde pour moi une grandeur euh, qui, qui est des règles, là, tu sais, parce qu'il y a quand même des règles pour le dormir. Ouais, ouais. Et puis, pensez-vous que ça, ça va affecter les poissons dans le fleuve, euh, le déversement des goûts? Je peux pas. Je <rire> peux pas être bon. Certains, surtout aujourd'hui, avec les, euh, les, les médicaments tout ça, qui sont. Que les gens souvent se débarrassent dans les, dans les, les toilettes. C'est comme... Ouais, c'est ça. <rire> She was asked by the people to read this statement, so uh, that's what she's going to do today. She's going to read that statement to you guys. Okay, let's start. One from 44 of Guyana de Goa. The Gahunji or Gwenio, the Rodinoshona Ume, the women are the progenitors of the soil of our nation and caretakers of the land, water, and air on behalf of the Rodisco de Sotaje, the coming faces, and all people. Guyana de Goa provides that we must speak on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves. On October 7th, the women sent a notice of objection to the city of Montreal. We have not received a response. The city of Montreal is planning to dump 8 million liters of raw, untreated uta, including medical, industrial waste, into Ganaya Terdawana Umwe. It is our great river of life forever as designed by creation. This notice is our warning to the city of Montreal to stop dumping waste that is toxic to our lands, life, and waterways. The temporary obstruction on Thursday, October 15th, is to emphasize our objection to this environmentally destructive action. Osneganos, the precious liquid that sustains all life, is being threatened by ignorance and monetary concerns. The release of the equivalent of 2,600 Olympic-sized swimming pools will result in unknown contamination and multi-generational devastation of the entire ecosystem. As Rodina Shona Umwe, we have a responsibility to, pr to protect Ganyatirnawana Umwe. We ask everyone to stand together.
We come to you with the gentleness of a feather, which we hope will be accepted. Should you not respond reasonably, you leave us no alternative but to take necessary action to convince you. There has been no commitment to not dump. We would like the mayor to take responsibility to preserve our waterways. It's gonna be. <laughs>